Hey everyone, in this video, we are going to discuss how to push our uh, this Angular application into the GitHub repositories. So currently, the Angular version is 7.2 and uh, it is running success in the local. So let's uh, see that how we can easily push this code into the GitHub repository. So GitHub is a web-based interface that uh, uses this uh, Git, the open source version control software. So that lets uh, the multiple uh, people can make the separate changes uh, to web pages at the same time. So the main purpose of the Git and GitHub is used for that. So there is multiple way we can publish our uh, code into the GitHub uh, repository. So the one way is uh, using the VS code we can do that. So you can see that in the source control. So here also we can directly publish to GitHub. But we'll see that how we create the repository on the GitHub account and uh, uh, in the command prompt how to we publish it. So this is my the github account. So go to the repositories We need to create one repository where we need uh, to push our code. So click here new We need to create a new repository to push our the code So let's put the repository name that you want. Let's say for me ngdemo1 and You can just put a description if you want like angular demo on github so you can put uh, either uh, this repository as a public or private but uh, i don't want to make as a public because uh, it is just a sample applications that i make for the video purpose only so i don't want to that so i will make it is as private and let's say create repository so it is building the repository in blank so you can see that the repository has been created and it is named as like github.com my name and ngdemo1 or also you can see that you can buy uh, here the ngdemo1.git also you can do that and you can see that here the command line that we can follow it and uh, accordingly we'll push our code into this repository so let's go to our command prompt and we'll see that so before open the command prompt you can see that this is my file where i can post this code so just minimize it for a while and place it here and let's command prompt is here so let's minimize it so that we can follow step by step everything and we'll see that so first thing is that we need to have push our code and you can see that my current path is on d drive so currently i am in the c drive so let's first move to the d drive i am in d drive and copy this path and i move to the project path see i am in the project path now then the next command is git init so whenever we push the git init so it will initialize the project in our local so here you can see that there is no git folder is that once we need then the git folder will come here so just hit enter here you can see that now a git folder is created if you want to add the readme file then you can do that so it is not a mandatory but uh, what the repository do and what the work so that's the purpose we have uh, added the readme file so you can just add it hit enter so it is added then copy this uh, commit command and uh, go to here and hit enter so you can see that one file is changed and 27 interactions are there so which branch we need to push so we need to push the in the main branch so hit enter and this code is ready to in the main branch then we need to uh, run this command git remote add to this so that it will enable to connect with the, your github account then the next command is uh, git push origin main so this is responsible to push all your code into the github repository hit enter now you can see that it is pushed into the github repository so just refresh it
but here we can find only one readme file but other file is not come so why it is that so let's do a another command git add star then let's say git commit um, second you can see that so all the commit has been ready then we just push is git push so it will push all the code into our repository so let's again refresh it now you can see that all the things has been pushed so why in the first time though all the files are not committed uh, because of uh, we haven't added the add command to enable to all the files so here we have added the git add star so that it will allow to all the files to push into the github and we just put a commit message and it is pushed so here is congratulations your app is running so instead of that let's say test in github I just save it and whenever we go to the browser so it is building you can see that the test in github so we have modified one file in the vs code so let's see that how we can publish it into the repository again so we can do that like the same command like git r star then put a message we can do that or in other way we can simply go to here in our uh, source control right so it is connected now into the github repository so you can just put a message like uh, new change whatever commit message you want to put that and just click here commit so it is ready then you can just push it So the commit is done and it is already pushed so if so you come to the github repository and I refresh it and we can see that the new commit message and it is pushed just now you can see that in just one minute ago so the new sense is pushed so if it sends the another time and uh, we can push it here as well also in command line how we can push that so just hit the command like git add star so star is enabled for all then we can put a commit message here git commit let's say again change the commit message is again change then i hit enter and just put a command as git post so the push has been done and go to the repository and refresh again now you can see that it is replaced the new commit message as again change so in this way you can push your code into github either in the command prompt or directly using the vs code as well that's it for the video. Thanks for watching.